will stay to Uttarakhand will see the face of its ninth chief minister in just 20 years of its formation. Hello, I am Ashe and you are watching Yangistan News. The recent resignation of Chief Minister Trivendra Singh Rawat has shaken the political scene of the Uttarakhand. The political instability is not new for the Uttarakhand, especially when only one Chief Minister, N.D. Tiwari from the Congress Party has completed the tenure of five years. Six politicians from BJP have occupied the seat till then. When Uttarakhand became a separate state on November 9, 2000, BJP leader Nityanand Swami was sworn in to head the interim government. But before he could complete one year, he was asked to resign to make way for Bhagat Singh Koshari, the current governor of Maharashtra and Goa. Votes in Uttarakhand are divided along three lines, hills and plains, Komoni and Gadwali, and Thakur and Brahmin. Swami was from Dehradun, which is a plain area in Gadwal, and Koshari belonged to the hill town of Bageshwar. And Uttarakhand, which is considered a hill state, got a first chief minister from the hills in October 2001. Koshari was made chief minister under the pressure of leaders who formed the state. Congress got the power of Uttarakhand in 2002. And N.D. Tiwari, a senior leader, was made chief minister after completion of his tenure, he lost the power to BJP in 2007. Major General B.C. Khanduri was sworn in as a Chief Minister in 2007. He couldn't complete his term as he was replaced by Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank in June 2009. But General Khanduri returned to the Chief Minister's seat in 2011 only five months before the Assembly elections but he couldn't battle the factors like anti-incumbency and tarnished party image as a result of the BJP lost the elections to the Congress in 2012 and Vijay Bahuguna, who is currently a BJP leader, was made Chief Minister. Vijay Bahuguna resigned after the Kedarnath floods we saw in 2013. Harish Rawat took the oath as Chief Minister in February 2014. But the continuous infighting within the Congress failed him when nine Congress MLAs, including Vijay Bahuguna, rebelled against Harish Rawat. Though he managed to win the floor test that summer. In 2017, the Congress managed to win only 11 seats in state and BJP rode the Modi wave and went whooping 57 seats which made Trivendra Rawat the Chief Minister. Days before Trivendra Rawat could complete four years of his tenure, he was dramatically made to resign from the post on March 6. Now, Tirat Singh Rawat will be the next Chief Minister of Hill State. Uttarakhand is going to face its assembly elections next year. So this political move of changing a chief minister will be fruitful or not. We all have to wait for the answer. Thank you for watching Angistan News. Please like, share and subscribe.